I've been using the Chrome browser for two days now, I guess. And not browser, the computer, Chromium CR48. It's really hard to not talk about it as a browser because that's what the hell it is. It's really actually kind of weird because you keep wanting to go back to the desktop, back behind it. You get into this mindset using normal computers that, oh, I should log in and check that or go to the help home or something. But it's just the browser. It's right there. And I'm not saying that's bad. It's just going to take some getting used to. And that's something that is going to have to be approached if there's going to be wider market appeal for this. I think there will be wider market appeal, especially if the offline support gets there. That is going to be key. And until that's there, it's, it's hard to really think about it as being my main computer, being my main laptop, being my main netbook. Because I don't always have web access. Even with Google's very nice gift of 100 megabytes per month from Verizon for data, thank you, by the way, I don't always have access to very clear cell signal. The cabin my mom grew up at up north in northern Wisconsin has kind of crap reception for everything. So now Google's just supposedly releasing HTML5 offline support for Google Docs. Hopefully they'll be following it up with Gmail so you can prepare ahead of time emails, respond to them, look through those. And I know they'll release that code to the rest of the population so Zoho can follow through with that. and a whole plethora of other groups. So I'm really looking forward to that actually coming through. I'm still really, really upset. I'm not going to talk about this here. Shush. On my phone. Really upset about the fact that they removed Google Gear support before HTML5 was ready. It was a wrong decision then. It was still wrong now. And until it's there, it's, it's so close to being really useful. In fact, I made sure to down to download and install one of the few apps that are can do offline saving. If I'm going to be using this in my classes, I have to know I can take notes that will work, no matter what the reception in that classroom is at that moment, no matter what happens to the network. I can't be in the middle of my class, the university's network goes down, and the teacher keeps going with class if I can't take my notes. Not going to work. Not going to happen. I have to know I have some offline support. And I said there are a couple very simple, very straightforward, actually kind of nice and pristine writing programs that can work with that. And I have got one of those. I don't have it off the top of my head. I'll put that in the link below later. And it's very nice. I like it. But again, I want the full feature. If I'm going to be using this as my main computer, I want it there. So that's complaint one. Complaint two. Way too many apps in the store that are just shortcuts. NPR has a beautiful app. Weather Underground, beautiful app. It's, it's exactly what you want out of it. It's integrated. It's, it's innovative. It's something new. It, it feels right. It feels like a program that's web-based. Awesome. Sweet. I don't need a shortcut. I got those. It's called a bookmark. Don't need that as a special little button in the new tab area. You know. Also, Netflix having an app and yet still not having any support for the Chromium OS is more than a little annoying, which is really Netflix's fault. That's not Google's. That's part of Netflix being when it comes to not supporting Linux, which really just asks people to commit piracy. Make things simple enough, people will not Pirate. I love Netflix. Life is easy. Oh, IT crowd's on. I would love to think about that. I'll just go watch it. $9 a month and I'm done. I haven't had cable for years. It's great. Streaming made life so much better. Please actually support computers. I'm paying. I expect to be able to use them. Including my now CR48. That's... So that's subset of part two. Two subset. So two is basically, I'm not saying there needs to be regulation per se, but more clarity when it's an actual app and when it's just a shortcut. I'd like to see that in the reviews from people. I'm going to be putting my own reviews in now that I'm there. And it's just, it's really not enough support. 
just to go like, oh, I love Hulu, yay. I love Hulu too. That's not an app. It's just a shortcut. So. Oh, it's, it's really smooth. It's really fast. And it is surprising how little I miss having a real operating system. It just works, which is exactly the idea. It's exactly what you expect. It's exactly what you're looking for. So, sweet. It is off-putting, as I said. It is going to take some getting used to, and I'm looking forward to actually learning more about it and using it. That's what I like to do. I like to use new things. I like to play with technology. I like to have a pile of clean clothes that needs to be put away behind me, apparently, and ignore it and work on computers instead. <coughs> Excuse me. Still coming off that cold. It's... It's also annoying at some time, at some points of knowing that there's a specific program that I want to be using that I can't because there's not a web version of it. That can get annoying. There are workarounds for a lot of things, and so far there hasn't been anything major that I need to worry about, but I can feel it just tickling just under the surface there. So let's... We'll see. We'll see. One thing that I do love is how the Google Chat, the Google Talk, will pop up in the bottom and top of any page I'm on because I don't have to worry about keep switching back to the Google Gmail page or having a separate program. Whatever. It's just there. It pops up no matter what page I'm on. Slide around to the side of the screen, to that side of the screen. It's nice. It's really nice. And there's a lot of really well-made apps out there for more than just Google, like I said, NPR or Weather Underground. They're, they're really well-made. And I'm really looking forward to this becoming a more mature environment where people get out there and they start developing for it and they start adapting existing content to the web for this. And Wikipedia would be a great resource on there. So it's going to be interesting. And it's really, really off-putting not having a, a computer underneath the check. Too. It's it's so weird. I didn't think that would... It's not annoying. I didn't think it would throw me off as much. And it has. And that's something I have to get used to. And I don't know if somebody like my mom, who is not computer savvy at all, at all, would have the same problem. Example, my mom. It's 2011, so about three years ago. I was on the phone with her, giving her support again. And I said, all right, Mom, just move that window to the size. We're going to look below it. Like, Mi Mi what? Mi minimize it? I'm like, no, just move it to the side. What? 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 What do you... What? And it dawned on me that she had no idea what moving a window meant. So I calmly explained to her to take the mouse and move the cursor and grab the top of the bar and just hold it down and drag it. And her statements of surprise and joy at being able to do this made me realize what a large gap there is between different people's knowledges of something as simple as what you'd expect from people to be able to use. It was kind of eye-opening, actually. It made me think about how different people approach and think and interact with Something as simple as, you know, I think of as like simple as a toaster differently. You've never seen a toaster before, you don't know how to use it. If you were introduced to a toaster at age 30 something, you're not going to have the same, you know, native interface to that that you did if you were introduced when you were zero or not or whatever English versioning you're listening to this in. So. Sorry, hey, sorry. Enough about my mom being computer illiterate. And yeah, she's on Facebook. When did that become okay? Anyways, moving on. So far, I like it. I like the speed. I like the access. I don't like the only one USB port. I don't need it yet, but I'd like to be able to have a mouse and be able to read cards off a thumb drive to upload them to Flickr or something. By the way, Yahoo. I know it's not your operating system, but I am a Flickr Pro user. I love your service. Please make a Flickr app. That would be awesome. Side note, Chris request. Thank you. But there's, I, 
there's been a lot of little niggling things like that that I know are going to ignore annoy me down the road. And maybe they won't. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I really don't know yet. I'm just using it. So it's going to be interesting. And I'm really excited about being part of this. So again, thank you, Zoho, for giving me a chance to win that. Zoho is how I won. I just got confirmation of that the other day. I will include a link down there. They're a, they are another Office Suite alternative to Microsoft Office. They're web-based. They're free for individual users. Businesses pay per size. It's nice. If you are more used to open um, something like Open Office or Microsoft Office or WordPerfect, yes, WordPerfect is awesome. You can, anyways, it is. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. It's a lot more like those. Which are the things I like about it? It's got the ruler bar on the top, and it's got the font. It's it's closer to what you're used to, while still being new, still still being in the cloud, still giving you some of those new features. It's not so different as Rightly was that Google Docs is now. And, and I like I, I was a user of Rightly before they got bought by Google. I, I like that too. They're both good in different ways. They're both nice in different ways. So they, they solve different problems differently, which is good. The market should have different solutions. I enjoy that. I appreciate that. So. Those are my initial thoughts so far. I like it. I like the speed. I like the battery life. That is not a ghost, that is my furnace blowing. There. Anyways, it's nice, it's quick, it's... I've gotten a lot of ribbing from my coworkers at the university's tech store, do it, about how much it looks like a Mac, black MacBook, uh, old MacBook, but it's not bad, you know. It, the rubberized feel to it is really nice. I like a lot of what they've done. I don't like some of the other things. I do miss my cap locks. It's nice to be able to quick, when I do my notes in, my, in, my, in some of my classes, which there have not been a lot of the classes with the big protests with Governor Walker of Wisconsin's anti-union bills being pushed through, which is not the purpose of this. That's a separate thing. There's been a lot of protesting, so there have been a lot of classes this week because it's affecting a lot of us here in Wisconsin in very, very deep ways, no matter which side of the issue you stand on. it, And that's a different discussion, not for this. Anyway, but when I'm taking my notes, sometimes I might want to have all caps for the heading. It's very clear. It's very easy. It's a very fast way to distinguish between points. And not having the cap blocks can be a pain in the topic. Now, I'm not saying it's better or worse than having the search button in, in its place. It's just different, and that's going to take some getting used to. Uh, so. I, things I still am planning on trying specifically is hooking up a second monitor to it with the VGA port. I'm excited to see how that's going to work. I'm hoping that it will do screen mirroring, which would be far more useful for presentations. I understand if it doesn't have the power to do dual screen, which would be amazing. It's a little annoying that some YouTube videos will skip, Vimeo will skip with it because it can't handle the processor. But I keep reminding myself, wait, this is actually a netbook underneath that was my email. And then it feels better, if you will. It's nice. It's not bad. It's just different. So. And difference is good. Change is good. Change makes people grow. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And that's all for now. So first couple days, problems, but what do you expect? It's different. It's going to take some getting used to. Some things I'll never like, some things I'll learn to love. It's just how it is. So I'll do it. Take care. Be safe. Be safe, really? Maybe my sign off? I don't know. I'm working on that. Anyways. <laughs>